So I bought two military surplus containers. And I don't know which video is going to come first. The new solar uh, ground mount or the shock. <laughs> I decided not to go with any of these containers. I've got this one, I've got one on the other side of this yard. I actually have a company coming to pick those up. Uh, that they're gonna sell them for me. I have my shop here, which I do my YouTube stuff in, and uh, used to be my electronics repair shop. Then I had my storage shop back here, which you see everything here. It is packed full just nonsense storage stuff so i am gutting all of this stuff out throw 90 percent of it away and whatever i can donate i'm going to insulate in here and i'm going to put my inverters and batteries in here instead of in the containers currently they're in that shop so i want them out and on their own so i'll be doing getting some digging done between my shop in between here and my shop my shop to the house has already got a line underground and uh, trevor has helped me with the solar ground mount and helping me clean out this building and you guys may or may, may not know i do not have a very good back i have to really depend on a lot of help uh, I, I, i've got a great mind but i cannot do the more labor intensive stuff uh, my back just won't let me so got my buddy trevor over here helping me he is definitely my right hand man when it comes to doing anything labor intensive doesn't even question so and these are all my panels for my windows for a hurricane so they'll, they'll probably go up top so i'm gonna insulate i don't know should i divide it think about dividing half of it off insulating that side and putting a mini split in there or some type of uh, heater slash air conditioner or do the whole thing. But if I do, I'd have to build a, a platform that this could drop up and down so we could get up to the top part of the storage building. So I got a lot of cleaning to get done, a lot of stuff to get out, throw away. Uh, I would still like to use part of it for storage. Pretty good size building. So and that's what we're doing let's continue then all of this right here will get torn out insulated insulated up here and i'll build a wall from here over to house the inverters um the batteries and this will be uh cooled as well with a mini split may start out with a windy unit i'm not quite sure yet but Gotta keep going, get everything cleaned out from this side, which I have done. Because this storage building is, a, I think it's a, a 15 by 16, or 14 by 16. So that way, one side of it will still be somewhat storage. I won't house any gasoline or anything in here just because of the fumes. And then this side will be for the battery, so I can keep it at my shop. I will put my compressor and everything over here, my drill presses and stuff from my other shop. And since this place will be powered, then I'll be able to dig a line underneath here going up to my shop. So for compressed air if I need it. So we're going to keep moving on, try to get more of this stuff cleaned out so I can get this side tore down get it insulated and get this thing going all right so i didn't get much filmed i just kind of jumped in and started right to work so i got this shed cleaned out back here um i'm on a section of part of it and i went ahead and Got some insulation in there and realized, oh boy, I have not even filmed. But I was in a rush, so now I want to jump in here real quick and say I want to thank my buddy Greg over at ABC Science. First of all, he had these left over from a project, the insulation that is, 
and he had no use for it and he said I was welcome to it. his four rolls of 16 center well this shop is unfortunately 24 center so I'm having to patch it and so I'm making sure it's really good and sealed with some of this 3m aluminum tape so um, yeah so gotta thank Greg at ABC signs it's ABC signs biz give him a shout out if you need any signs shirts promotional materials i'll leave a link down below as well uh by the way have you subscribed yet i've got a lot of awesome content coming on building this uh new uh solar shed per se and uh yeah so there we go we got uh insulation in part of it i still got to build the wall right here right there and i'm kind of deciding on whether to build the wall to there I've got a loft up here, so I'd have to cut off part of the loft. That's just not quite sure yet. Then again, I thought about uh, maybe uh, go into the edge right here and then mounting the uh, the inverter on this wall right here that I got to build. I still got a little bit more cleanup to do. I've really cleaned out a lot, but uh, <laughs> you ever see the trailer? There's the trailer. So. Uh, a lot of this stuff has just got to go, like the gas jugs. I got a, uh, a container coming for the gas jugs so they won't be stored in here. And a lot of this other stuff will uh, be put away correctly up in the loft. So so I'm just trying to decide on how to build this wall out. I think, like I said, I think I'm going to put the inverter over here and build a, a wall. So just a place to put the uh, two inverters, the 12K and the 6K grow watt low frequency and then uh put the batteries over here maybe in this corner but if i go to where i want to i want to go to about right here so that'll put me this is a door which is screwed in it's not going anywhere so um, um it's all sealed off fairly well but i'll come back and reseal it so yep all right, let me, let me finish insulating um, this. It's taking me a while. Uh, you know, somebody with a bad back can't move very fast. So I've got one roll of insulation left. Uh, so either I can fill in these gaps, and there's a gap there. Still got a couple down there, or save this for the new wall going up. That should be enough to probably fill in most of the wall and then just buy one other roll to uh, do the, the little holes with and tape them off all right so we are back here another day at least a few days after the insulation by the way what is expensive i was able to find these two by fours for 550 560 a piece and that's pretty expensive compared to what six months ago you could buy a two by four studded two by four for two bucks 